Uh, we begin with a story that you will only see right here on 10 News. The city paying millions of dollars in settlements instead of fixing our bone-breaking and busted roads. 10 News reporter Michael Chen spoke to the victim who filed a claim. Uh, this is a scar. There's a plate right here. For Guto and Junas, the reminder remains. Pain, disappointment. Of the morning he'd like to forget. Last June, Antuna is a world-ranked long-distance triathlete. Moved from Brazil to San Diego to train. That's why I came to America, to have the right conditions for training. Days after he arrived, he says he was on El Camino Real in Carmel Valley wrapping up a ride at about 10 miles per hour when he hit a series of cracks. So I was shaking a lot, looking down to avoid it, and all of a sudden I had to decide either I would go right to the curb or left. And Tuna says he veered left and met this. And then I flew away over my shoulder and hit the ground. And Tunis broke his collarbone. A lot painful. I, sh I cried a lot. Tears because he knew the long healing process would knock him out of competitions. His lawyer, Ross Jurowitz, has filed a claim with the city. And the crack and also the rise, they've been there for at least several years. City crews patched up this crack, but... So as far as my eye can see, both that way and this way, there is a crack that runs down the middle of this bike lane, about the width of a bike's tire. Since December, the city has settled two lawsuits, cyclists claiming they suffered serious injuries because of uneven pavement and potholes, totaling more than $5 million. Jerwood says it's time for the city to prioritize repairs. The city is going to spend millions and millions of dollars more than it would take to fix the problem in the first place. It's very dangerous. It's, it's sad to see a bike lane like, like this uh, so abandoned. Michael Chen, 10 News. And Tunis is just beginning to ramp up his street riding. We reached out to the city, but it declined comment, citing a pending claim. But after one of the other settlements, the city told 10 News that fixing sidewalks is a priority and it's on track to repair more than 174,000 feet this year. New